All right, so this is gonna be our pipe flashing. Um, I made several of these for the house, just out of a, a piece of coil stock. And um, I have patterns that I, us I usually don't draft these out unless I have to, but I have different slopes, 612, 812, got 11 and a half, so that will work on a 12 pitch. You can, you can use that on a 10 pitch. Actually, I, all the slopes on this are 10 and I use eight and a half pattern, which, which is fine. Um, you can either roll this if you have a slip roll and instead of making all these different bends, I did this just because I like, uh, I like the look. It just looks custom made. Um, so it's not necessary. I mean, you could, you can roll it on a piece of pipe like this. Um, it's got a half flat lock on it, nothing fancy. And when you put it together, you'll use this pipe as a, uh, an anvil for it. And, um, I, most always caulk the inside just for the heck of it um, where the lock is hold it together you can even take a swag or something like that and um, and use one of those or you know make some little dimples in it with a punch uh, and all but it, it will stay together once it's locked onto the panel and uh, formed over top of a pipe um, but yeah, you can see the different segments. This is actually from drafting it out, but those would be your folds, or you can even go in between every other and make more folds. Um, but yeah. All right, so I ended up putting a coupling up on top of this two inch stack um, because you, you, want, you really want a, a tight fit. Um, at the top and you, you need to leave it just shy of the top at least about a half inch or more so you can actually peen this material up and over the pipe and that's really important because of uh, condensation um, from within you get a lot of heat and vapor coming up through these pipes and um, all it takes is for you know it to get condensation on the inside and um, and have so if you just put a cap on it say we put this on top and just put a cap well, it's gonna run down the edges of this material here, not all in the pipe and get behind it and end up, you know, coming down onto here for, you know, 30, 40, 50, 100 years, depending on how long this roof is on for, and, you know, probably cause some damage in the long run. So I, um, I put the coupling on there, I like the fit. So what I do, I like to put it on, check and make sure I got equal space on every side I want to look at it, make sure it's plumb, and I'll make a center mark, and then I'll describe around it, and then that way I can measure off of this pan to the side, and I have a mark for the bottom, and that's all I need, those two measurements. So I put a framing square across here, and I pulled that measurement up off of this since I'm preforming the panel. And that's the nice thing about not preforming a panel is that you can, you can give yourself a lot of play when you finish the eave afterwards but in this situation with this dormer we're we're just doing the pre uh pre-folded eve but um we're going to go ahead and show you how to uh how to install one of these jacks have to be careful and not have any fish hooks on it like burrs because if you have like if you close if you're snipping this and you close your snips all the way you don't want to close them all the way because it's going to wind up putting a little, little hook on it and then when you have that it's going to tear there a whole lot easier so we're going to initiate it now with these little pliers
Almost. It's, see, it's, there's a slope on the pipe boot, so you don't want it to be too abrupt. We can we can um, fine tune it once we rivet it on. When we rivet it on, we'll be able to get it tighter. Yeah, so we're using um, quarter inch by eighth inch. They're eighth inch diameter rivets by quarter inch. And um, this is what's gonna keep it held down. And then what we're gonna wind up doing is flipping it over and caulking it from the inside. We're gonna make sure we hit these rivets just in case the water did have to penetrate through the rivets. But also the nice thing about caulk being on the inside is it's going to uh, be protected from ultraviolet light. So the sun, I and mean, that's always the enemy to caulk is the sun breaking it down. So it'll be on the inside. And you, can, you could probably get away with not even caulking it, but we're worried about it maybe getting capillary from the metal being on top of metal and drawing in. Um, so that's gonna, gonna also eliminate that issue. Um, I'm putting four in this one. Uh, if, it was on a, if it was on a long run of roof where it's gonna could take some snow damage, I mean, you might wanna put a couple more in it. But the caulk's also kinda gonna bond and hold it, you know, really good too. Um, this is just on a short run on a dormer. So I'm not worried about snow ripping. I've never had snow rip one off, but I've heard of it happening. Biggest thing is getting this engaged. And then we'll make sure it doesn't have too much tension on it. Seems to be set on there good. to cut a little bit of material off of here, so hang on. All right. twist and pulling down on itself here a little little at a time <laughs> 